Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm showing y'all my shower routine for when I want to relax and pamper myself. It's also great for when I need a spiritual reset. It's very important to me that we take time to love on ourselves and our bodies. This is a simple routine that includes herbal remedies that help us connect with our feminine energy and increase our magnetism. So let's get into it. If you watched the early episodes of What Would Drop Do, then you know I love me some incense. So I'm getting those lit while I play some music to set the vibe and purify my bathroom. Also opening the window to get a good wind bath going. Today I'm using Dr. Bronner's 18-in-1 Hemp and Eucalyptus Liquid Castile Soap. You can use this soap for literally anything. Later on, you'll see me use it as a shaving cream. Hemp and eucalyptus are both great for the skin. The eucalyptus added the best revitalizing sensation to this shower. It cleanses your aura and is great at soothing irritation and eliminating odors in the yoni area. But just be careful that you don't apply the soap directly to that area because at the end of the day, it's still soap, <laughs> so it can be irritating. At this point in my shower, I like to focus on my breathing and visualization. Showers are super ritualistic for me, and I believe that it is the main contributor to my sanity, and it may also be why I take so long to get ready, but whatever. Now I'm going to use this pink Himalayan salt scrub that I made at home with grapeseed oil. I would recommend being very gentle with this scrub because it can be harsh if you're using a thin oil like grapeseed. Now, everything is about intention. If you want to use this as a basic scrub for your skin, that's perfectly fine. But for my girls that are into metaphysics, if you're feeling drained or like you're carrying residual energy from external people or things, this scrub can be used for expelling and banishing those energies from your body and conscience. The salt being pink makes it very useful for self-love and self-care, inner beauty, drawing in love, raising vibrations, and heightening attraction. It's very similar to rose quartz and it's perfect for getting the girlies charged up. Before I dry off and step out, I am locking in the moisture with this hemp seed oil from Pretty Cute Girl. This oil always makes me feel so buttery and baby soft. Okay, so now we're gonna move into Feminine hygiene. Your girl just finished our cycle. We need to do a little extra reset in that area. So I'm going to do one of these. These are the boric acid suppositories. These are not to be taken orally, but they come in like a little pill size thingy thing capsule <laughs> this is 600 milligrams i honestly haven't tried any other brand this is boric life it supports order odor oh my gosh <laughs> supports odor control and promotes vaginal balance <laughs> that's a tongue twister but yes i love these i'm gonna pop one of these in and then i'm gonna put some witch hazel on a little patty pad stick them in my undies and that is basically it for the feminine hygiene. We're gonna keep it clean and simple. But I'm gonna do this off camera. So I'm telling y'all, if y'all don't take nothing from this video, take that one. Take, take this on that little thing, on that little pad. Girl, it feels so good. It's amazing, it's amazing. Throw a little Vaseline on there, the thing on. It's really amazing. You gotta try it. You gotta try it. Or even aloe vera, aloe vera, witch hazel, pet a pet. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I usually get the cucumber one, but um, I ran out of that one, so I'm used to the rose petal. But okay, we're gonna move into deodorant. How about that? I am trying to get off of deodorant, <laughs> so I've been using limes in the shower. It's good for like your whole body, but like especially the underarms. If you wanted to take it one step further, use a key lime. That's even better at deodorizing. But today I'm gonna to use this Dove spray. It's the Nourishing Secrets Calming Ritual Dry Spray. It just smells really good. I know Native has the natural deodorants. I kinda of wanna try those. It's like cocoa, is it coconut oil and shea butter? I think it's coconut oil and shea butter. 
But yeah, I'm gonna try those. Okay, that is deodorant. And then I'm just gonna, I'm gonna smell like extra, extra good. Mmm. But I'm gonna go in with this little, um, <clears throat> that deodorant is all in my respiratory system. It is, I believe it's from H&M, but it smells really good. It's called Kendrick Goods Velvet Woods and Magnolia Hair and Body Mist. It smells like vanilla and oranges, but I'm going to just kind of spray it all over. Yeah. Y'all, I cannot breathe. <laughs> okay. And now we're going to get into skincare. I'm going to do a oil cleanse with this grapeseed oil. Oil cleansing basically helps pull out like blackheads or whatever may be stuck in your face. It's really good for um, congested skin. I like to use grapeseed oil to remove my makeup. It's just a better alternative for me than the makeup wipes because I have super sensitive skin and everything makes my eyes burn like right here, right here. It makes it all burn. But I basically rub this in my skin for like really anywhere over two minutes but i usually do it for a long time because i sit down and watch tv or something i'm gonna do this off camera because it takes kind of a long time so i'll be right back i'm gonna wash my face with this eucalyptus uh castile soap from dr broder this is 18 and one so like it uses on your face your body as shaving cream i've heard that you could use it as toothpaste of course i had to test it but it just tasted like soap but it wasn't bad it just tasted like soap because it's soap but i use the peppermint one not the eucalyptus one for the toothpaste i don't use the cotton rolls to apply witch hazel to my face but i will use some of these to clean my ears my neck. Now I'm going in with my retinol nighttime serum. This is so good at brightening the skin. I'm trying to get rid of my dark spots. I want to have baby soft, smooth skin, like as close to newborn skin as possible. Well, not newborn, like month old baby skin maybe a year old baby skin as possible <laughs> but i like to wait 30 minutes before i put on my moisturizer on top of the retinol serum so i brush my teeth in the meantime and then i apply my nivea cream y'all know nivea is my favorite i pray every day that nothing crazy comes out about nivea because honestly i'm gonna keep using it like it's just my favorite i can't do nothing about it look how buttery and luscious the skin is after i use it Okay, the last step is our lip balm. <laughs> I honestly don't do nothing fancy. It is just Vaseline. And it honestly helps my skin exfoliate. The skin on the top gets so soft that it literally just like peels off. <laughs> Sometimes when I wake up, my lips look super plump. And like the skin, if I just go like that, like the skin just comes off. And it'd be like baby skin underneath. Okay, now I want to trim my nails because they recently just broke. I had some press-ons for this music video. And when they came off, my nails still had glue on it. Made them extra brittle. So we're just going to start chopping. For my nails, I'm just cutting and filing. I wash my hands and then I put some oil on them. I believe this is olive oil. I got it from a nail tech and I can't remember what oil she put in there, but I believe it's olive oil. But that's about it. You know, I try to keep my nails as close to square as possible, but if the corners break a little low, I just cut them down and let them grow back out. Okay, y'all, that is it for this self-care Sunday shower routine, feminine hygiene, spiritual reset. Thank y'all for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget, I'm dropped. Remember, it only takes one drop to make a wave. I'll see y'all in the next video, too.